What's up everybody, welcome back to another aimlab guide. This time we're going to be looking at how aimlab can help you improve when you play Valorant. This has been a heavily requested topic because the nature of Valorant is so lethal you have to have sharp aim, you have to be precise or you're going to be sitting out and watching for most of the rounds. This video will go through some of the tasks that you should be playing if you're looking to rank up and hopefully reach Radiant. So let's get into it. If you haven't already downloaded aimlab it's free and on steam and you'll be joining over 8 million players who are improving their aim. Firstly, let's get you set up with the right sensitivity. Go to the settings on aimlab and controls, and then from the game profile, drop down to Valorant. This way you can set up exactly how you play in game. Aimlab recently launched the Creator Studio, which is a custom tool letting you build and play tasks directly inside of aimlab. The template for Haven is already inside of aimlab Creator Studio, so you can go ahead and either build your own tasks, or you can go onto the workshop and under the scenario section, search for Valhaven and find other tasks people have made on this map. Click the icon to download, and then you can play directly from the workshop. If you want to learn how to build inside of the Creator Studio, make sure to watch our video, The Beginner's Guide to Creator Studio, also located on our YouTube. The first task we'll take a look at is Angle Hold, which is very fitting for Valorant since most of the gameplay is holding angles. In this task, targets will first spawn on the left side and then on the right, and the idea is to practice your aim and reflexes when the target peeks around the corner. As you can see in a real game, this training mode will be super effective as part of your routine. Next up, we have the Headshot Training task. Headshots in Valorant are a must as you climb the ranks, and situations will require that you quickly and successfully flick between enemy targets. This task spawns orbs along a linear line and will help you practice precision between targets. Headshot Reflex is another mode which has a time limit on how long the orbs show for, so it'll help you become quicker while being accurate. While it would be great that all headshots line up along a linear point, that won't be the case. Six Shot Ultimate is a great training task which spawns small orbs along a fairly close radius and allows you to flick in different directions. I would recommend to start off slowly with Six Shot and then increase your speed as you get more precise. Alright, let's be more real here. Not just a single enemy is going to be pushing around the corner, so the task Horde Shot spawns a wave of targets pushing, letting you practice headshot flicks on multiple moving targets. Be careful though, they even crouch and you've got to be ready for anything. Since you're not only just holding angles of Valorant, but you're also pushing, the task wall peek is great for being able to react to targets after pushing. There are three different modes for wall peek, including basic, which has static targets on each side, intermediate that has two moving targets on either side, and expert that has two moving targets that jump as well and can also fight back. If you love playing the operator like me, then sniper shot ultimate is the task to help keep your flicks on point. Orbs of various size will spawn in motion and you'll have to track and flick to take them down. It's also a great task for practicing the marshal. A lot of the gameplay in Valorant requires micro adjustments of your aim, not huge movements but being able to just adjust to hit the shot. The task Micro Shot Ultimate is the perfect task to practice small changes in your aim. This task will teach you to snap between two different targets in a very small space. While most fights you'll be having in Valorant are near enough static, you might catch enemies running away or if you're flanking they'll be slowly walking. The task Motion Shot on Precision Mode is a great way to practice a target orb in motion. After shooting the moving target, a static one will then appear in the center. Tracking isn't the most important attribute to train for Valorant, but it is necessary in some situations. So there you have it. These are some great tasks to help you get started on improving your aim for Valorant and ultimately becoming a better player. Of course, these aren't the only tasks which can help you, so feel free to experiment and find others which are suitable for the style of player you have. The workshop also has some great downloads, including some recall patterns for Valorant which you can implement into your training. To access the workshop, simply click custom at the top of the main menu, then click workshop. This brings us to the end of this video on how to improve your aim in Valorant using Aimlab. If you've enjoyed it, make sure to subscribe for more content, throw a thumbs up, and if you use different training tasks, let us know in the comments below. Make sure to join the conversation over at Discord and follow us over on social media at Aimlab because we serve some of the spiciest memes and best pro plays. Until next time, happy training.